Hi everybody, how you doing? This is George here at Wicked Warnings with a real beautiful 2020 Chevrolet Silverado Custom. Now this grill does not come from Chevrolet like this. We had a specific request from the client to backlight that grill in amber. And so that's exactly what we did. You can see here as I pan back just a slight ways what that grill looks like. I'll try to get it in focus there. I'm wondering if you can notice our emergency lighting that we added on the front of this truck. We are your number one source for construction and safety, emergency strobe lighting and equipment for cars, trucks, vans, SUVs, and boats, buses, and everything in between. Let's start by showing off that flood mode. So you can barely notice the OEM mirrors because we're directly forward and they cast off to the sides a bit, but you will pick up our four razor lights top of the grill and in the non-functional hood scoop on this particular Chevy we wanted by customers request to keep all the lighting well above the plow so we put these four lights as high as we could on this vehicle if you'll notice there we also have our auto flasher module running the roof lights now you can do those roof lights two ways you can do them as shown where the three pieces the center and the edges are all flashing together that's a very easy install right in the a pillar on the driver's side or you can split the center from the two edges and alternate all you need to do is take down the center console for that we do have a video showing you how to do that as well here's a little off-camera shot for you you can see we have synchronized all four of those razors in the front and the way we mounted those were with the included brackets in the grill we used a 90 degree bracket and in the hood scoop we used the flush horizontal mount bracket we have them synchronized in an alternating color two by two Let me show it down there you go now you there you go now you can see the grill actually how we're alternating it there all right let's return back to normal now this is the front switch on this particular truck we do also have a rear warning switch for this vehicle and we elected not to do anything lower in the front as I said it is a plow vehicle so this was all that was needed for the front of this one and here you are with that front flood switch activated as you can see you don't lose the warning on the roof so even when you activate the front flood you'll still have some warning as well in the roof alrighty so around the back we are gonna revisit this project and add some things just for now this is what we did we have our auto flasher module running the white rear spotlights on the mirrors we also have our thin X LIN series side mounted in both step pockets we have them on a very fast alternating amber white flash and as you can see we've also tied the flood mode in for those mirror lights as well as our thin x lin series amber clear version 2 right in the step pockets there now if the customer wants to use the cargo light in conjunction with this as you can see here he may do so or he can keep that bed light shut off the reason that we did that is because a lot of times when you're snow plowing having the bed light lighting up the bed or the salter that's in the bed might not be the most advantageous situation especially with tired eyes so if he wanted to go into flood mode and just light the lower thin X LINs and those back mirrors ie for backing up without having any reflection back from the cargo he could simply choose to turn the cargo off and activate the remaining flood here you can see it with the front activated also I'm gonna go through now and show you some of the mounting of these lights get a little bit more in-depth I hope you enjoyed the video so far and if you want product information please send an email to info at wicked warnings or just check the video description or click on any of the links in the upper right part of the video there's an eye that usually pops up on the upper right part of the video perhaps right about now and uh, that'll have links to all of these products let me show you a little bit more about how we mounted everything and what we're using to control it here you can see our thin X mounted right in the step pocket there now some of these trucks have a radar system here for the side facing radar this one did not so if your truck does have that radar system you may just need to adjust where you mount this exactly but there's a lot of real estate here just make sure you're not interfering with anything I've put plenty of lights there uh, on vehicles and not had an issue we also mount them here 
facing backwards quite often. So this is also a very good spot for our TIR3 or our LIN6. Unfortunately, the big Thinex won't fit here. It's just too large. Here on the side, closer to the cab, you can see the same scenario. And uh, basically the way we mounted this was you can actually see there's a little curvature in the plastic right here. And then it goes up there and then it also curves down this way. This is where the plastic changes shape right, right here. So we just followed that top contour over to the edge and used that corner. Plenty of room, very easy to mount. And as you can see, because we smoke the lens, pretty much invisible when they're off. I mean, you really do not notice these lights at all when they're off the truck. You can even see around the back there. Very discreet. Here's that rear shot I was going for. As you can see, when the light is off, it um, blends right into that black plastic and pretty much disappears. I know you all want details on how I backlit the grill, but I'm gonna tell you this. That's an in-house custom job and you're gonna have to come here. So, if you want your grill lit like this in damn near any color, make the trip and come see me because it was too difficult for me to try to explain how to do all that over a video. Now, speaking on those front razors that are in the grill right underneath the hood, you can see them right here. They're actually mounted with the 90 degree bracket from the bottom up, from the back side of the grill was the easiest way to access that. And uh, the included bracket put those lights right there. Here you can see how they're just above that grill just a very nice mount spot. You do have to pull the grill to do it, but uh, we as well shaded those with a little bit of spray tint, and you can see how they disappear as well. If you're wondering what we shade those with, there's two versions out on the market right now. VHB Nightshades seems to be the nicer one. There's also a Rust-Oleum lens tint that's not too bad. And then the best is uh, Spray 2K Max. It's an automotive type clear coat that you put over that again. It's a two-part clear coat that uh, you put over the over the, the lens tinting and that keeps it nice and shiny for a long time. Now here in the nostril, this wasn't particularly hard but it is gonna take a little bit of skill because there was a support like this down in here. So we had to kind of remove all of that support in order to make a hole for the wiring. And as you can see, we used the uh, horizontal brackets, the flush mount ones that come with the light and we ran the wiring down underneath the hood of the headliner, the he underneath the headliner of the hood and out the corner over by the driver's hinge so um, we also tinted these so as you step back you can see how much they kind of hide into the hood very discreet very much above the plow and I think rather cool when you hit the floodlight uh, mode and you see all six as well as the mirrors light up that should definitely give him a little bit more forward warning when he's pushing some snow or somebody cuts in front of him. So how do we control it all, you say? Well, there's not a whole lot of real estate in this truck. Um, we were thinking about cutting some switches into the center uh, high mount up there in the headliner above the rear view mirror, but uh, we elected to do a, a mini six controller panel, as you can see here. We were able to run the wiring straight down. We put the majority of our wiring down in here by the factory fuse box, so it's easy to access. Uh, we were able to take a nice grommet right here and drop it in behind all this, and at the very worst, if the client did decide to trade the truck in, we could replace this trim bezel after this was removed, and you wouldn't have any horrible damage. Let me see, try and zoom in a little bit for you. There you can kind of see exactly how we did it. And in case you were wondering, this is how we labeled up those buttons. Lower right is for grill, so of course you can just rock the grill alone, that backlit Chevrolet, while you're in a parking lot just pimping. And then we've got front lights and uh, rear lights, front flood and rear flood, and one blank for later upgrades. Like I said, we're not quite done in the back of this vehicle, so we might see this again soon. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long one. Drop a comment. Let me know how you like these styling on the new 2020s. Give me some ideas. Send me some pictures of your truck. Let's collaborate. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency strobe lighting and equipment all across the world. Make sure you subscribe, smash like, and share with your friends. We'll see you on the next video. 9 minutes 46. Thanks for hanging with me.